Hey guys, welcome to Eating Sleeping Gaming. My name is Smitty Dashashex, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on my opinion of what are the best presets to use if you've got the Turtle Beach PX3 headphones and if you've got the Turtle Beach DSS2, the uh, Dolby surround sound processor, which gives you a Dolby surround sound with your gaming. Uh, what's flashing up on the screen now is the reference card that came with the PX3. It's in the user guide, I think I'll link it in the description. It tells you these are the default presets that came with the PX3. Uh, what I'd recommend, if you haven't got the DSS2, then there's only one choice really, and that is preset number 7, which widens the sound field, what well, it says there, widens the sound field, pushing the audio to the left and right so you can clearly pinpoint directional sounds. And I tried it before I got the DSS2, and it is really good, because you can really sort of hear which side they're coming from. It makes it so obvious what if they're coming from the left or right. It doesn't give you much surround sound as you can't I'll go into it later, but when I got the DSS2 I could sort of feel everything around me, whereas it's just with that preset it's just to the left or the right heavy. So if somebody on your team throws a stun grenade to the right, you can really feel it and tell that it's coming from the right. What I'm flashing up on the screen now, guys, is the uh, surround sound speaker angle presets. So I'm going to go into it. If you've got the DSS2, this is the part of the video that you want to watch, really. So you get the six surround sound angle presets by pressing the surround sound button. You toggle between the six. And really, for this, it, it is just personal preference. I mean, I went through all six and then found the surround sound angle preset one was actually the best for my ear anatomy but it's really just personal preference really whichever one suits you best but I can sound whole like a boss with number one it's brilliant I'm gonna flash the uh, PX3 reference card back up on the screen now guys and talk about what the preset on the actual headset you want to use if you've got the DSS2 so do not use 6 or 7 because they are for stereo sound only so now you're using the optical digital with the DSS2 you're getting full Dolby 5.1 channel surround sound so it's effectively like having five speakers around your head not two either side so don't use six or seven because now the whole point of getting the DSS2 really is to get Dolby surround sound so you don't need them anymore so what I'd recommend is I can only really give advice on the games I've played which is mainly Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 is just to use preset number one it just slightly increases the low frequencies while adding clarity to the high frequencies. That's the description it says there. And it just makes the sound a bit crisper. It just sounds slightly better than like no processing on the sound at all. If you switch back between the main preset, like no flat, just completely flat, no extra sound processing on it at all, and that preset number one, it just sounds slightly better. It just You can just hear things a little bit crisper, sharper, just try it, believe me, it's, it is better. As for 2, 3, 4 and 5, it says there that it's really, oh, it, and holding in on deep footsteps, uh, reloads and it's like, I just think they alter the sound so much that you just lose the rest of it, like low boost. You j it just boosts the low end of the sound so much that you just lose everything else. It just doesn't it doesn't sound right anymore. That's what I found. I was like, oh yeah, straight away I'm going to be an absolute sound whoring boss. It's going to be like sound whoring a team of elephants, for goodness sake. But no, it, it is. I mean, the footsteps are incredibly loud, but it just, I think it ruins the experience really on Call of Duty because you lose the rest of the sound, like the high end and the mid end. If you boost the mid end, you, use, you lose the low and the high end a bit. Same, boost the high end, you lose the mid and low. It just takes away a bit of the, what's the word? experience takes out the bit of the experience and I think I just don't think it's worth it so I'd recommend using preset number one as for preset number eight I will try playing it on F1 2011 at some point uh, it may be after July uh, yes but I will play it F1 2010 with the engine amplifier preset okay flashing up on the screen now is the uh, equalizer presets for the DSS 2 so you get nine presets with it, flat, bass boost, aggressive bass boost, treble boost, aggressive treble boost, bass and treble boost, aggressive bass and treble boost, mid-range boost, and aggressive mid-range boost. So what I'd recommend if you're using preset number one, uh, which I'd really recommend that if you're trying hard or if you're on search and destroy 
and you're using dead silence or even if you're just playing search and destroy and you want to like listen in if you're trying hard i'd use preset number one on the px3 and preset number one on the dss2 that's what i use if you're just messing around or you're just looking to have a bit of fun like for half an hour and then you're going out or something you just want to get on the game play it and get the best experience that you can i honestly use either Two or three, because I just the base is the base boost is awesome on this. It's just oh my god, when a predator missile lands next to you or something, it's just the base is so awesome. Uh, treble boost, I don't think such effect as effective on this game. You don't get many highs as much as the low sound that you do with explosions and things on, which the base boost will um, enhance. The treble's not quite as effective, but I mean preset two is good. Preset 3, if you really want to experience the base, seriously, whack that on, it's awesome. Preset 4 and 5, yeah, maybe. But if you're going to go for 4 or 5, if you're playing Call of Duty, I wouldn't bother. I'd just go for 6 or 7, to be honest, because then you can just get base and treble. And 8 or 9, I'd probably stay away from, because, again, it's just like the mid-range boost. You're going to be uh, leaving the low and the high ends behind again. And you're going to... I find it just... Just alters the it just alters the sound too much for me to enjoy anymore. It's just like this sounds so weird. What this isn't the game that I know anymore. Uh, that's what I think. So if you're using preset number one on the headset, don't use any of those presets because it already gives you a slight bass or treble boost on there. So you don't need to base it bass boost it anymore. So you might distort it a little bit. But if you're not using if you're just using the main preset or something on the uh, PX3, then I'd recommend using the base boost to be honest it's just it's really nice it's really good in my opinion okay I'm just gonna leave you with some gameplay of me playing COD guys while using the DSS2 and the PX3 so enjoy me beasting enemy UAV spotted take care of it Spotted. Take care of it. Specialist bonus achieved. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and comment on the video, asking any questions you like, and I'll answer them and reply to them as soon as possible. Hopefully, I'll be doing a, a video review of um, 
the PX3 and the DSS too soon, so stick around guys, thanks for watching, peace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying then Michael and she killed you, you were, you were trying. She's in gaming position now, she's leaning forward.